Hey, welcome to the channel. This is GK. We appreciate you stopping by to take a few minutes of your time. Today, we're going to share with you, uh, as always, you know, some, some quick mail and then some tips, tricks, and techniques that uh, we use to help us out in our business endeavors as it relates to sports cards. So, um, first things first, you know, we got today's mail shipments going out today. We've got about what it looks like there, four, eight, close to 13 PWE shipments, you know. Um, that's a big deal, you know, if you saw us on last our last episode, we talked about, hey, that we had been in business as a legitimate incorporation for a year. And to be honest with you, we wouldn't have made it that long unless we had switched to the offering PWE sales. So that's a, that's a huge, a huge impact right there. And, you know, we, we didn't come to that decision on our own. So people help, helped us out to get there. We're going to real quickly share a quarterback lot with you guys. And then we'll flip the camera around and we'll, we'll talk about some of the things that helped us to get to that one year. So stand by and we'll be right back. So we got everything uh, flipped around now. We'll go ahead and we'll get through this uh, mail real quick. Uh, the first thing we got up is a PWE shipment. And this is real nice and clean. You know, it allowed us to, to cut the edge right there. We slid it out. This was wrapped in paper. Um, we've got a 2020 Prism draft picks Patrick Mahomes crusade you know and we we love us some Patrick Mahomes it's not numbered or anything it's just a a, a straight insert parallel insert card we love us some Patrick Mahomes you know that's a always always a good always a good buy right there this next lot or this next card you know uh, bubble mailer came with a receipt invoice which is pretty cool you know it tells you what's going on and uh, what, what you paid and blah, blah, blah. It, I, th I think sometimes that helps the, um, the seller for their accounting purposes or whatever. But we've got a pretty sweet Russell Wilson black gold. You can see 50 out of 100. I love black gold. I love Russell Wilson as, both as a collector and as a, as a reseller. You know, this is a 2016, 2017 it's got two different years on there, so that, that'd be tough to figure out, but I think we bought it as a as a 2016. But black gold, you know, those those shadow box cards, 50 out of 100, short print, you know, Russell Wilson is a popular guy. Here's another bubble mailer that we got, just a, a little bit different size. Um, and then once again, you see this technique of the, of the paper sealing up the, or kind of protecting the cards. We drop it out and we got a lot of cards actually so we got three different top loaders here pretty cool technique that this guy used you know they're all taped together one thing I would recommend about tape and one thing that I've noticed both in uh, taping my own cards and when I get shipments like this um, you kind of want to go far on the tape the further you go on the tape the easier it is for the uh, customer or end user to remove like like you see that this will be a lot easier to to rip off there we go and just like that if there's any you know there's still sometimes this some blue tape and this is you know some blue tape leaves a residue but as, as we talked about yesterday we can we can kind of Get that off of there by just a quick, a couple quick pulls. And we're clear of the tape. Let's get these guys up and up and running. So then, then we've got a 2019 Epics parallel insert, Patrick Mahomes. Not numbered, but we got, we got, it was a three, three Epics parallel insert lot. So we got James Connor right there too. There's a lot of nice color movement, nice looking cards for score. I kind of dig them. And the Jared Goff. So Jared Goff, James Conner, and Patrick Mahomes. I think for this three card lot, it was, man, we paid $1.47 plus, plus the shipping. And I think they, I think it was a $3.49 charge. You know, so it's pretty fair. One of the things I'm learning about shipping is that um, 
the more you pay, the less you get in return. And sometimes, you know, people, um, and it, it, it almost seems like the less you pay, the better, the better quality of shipping product you get. Like if, if these guys are legitimate card shops, card stores, um, they, they tend to do a little bit different. You're going to see some different techniques um, than what we've seen over the past few days. So there's our card lot, a Russell Wilson, Black Gold, Patrick Mahomes, uh, 2020 draft picks, 29, uh, 2020 score, I believe. Yeah, let's look at that. Or 2019 score, Epics, Mahomes, Connor, and Goff. So that's our cards. We're going to flip this around real quick. We appreciate you sticking with us. Okay, we're back again, and we're going to talk a little bit about, hey, what, what helped us get to that, that one-year mark? And really, to be honest with you, it, no, number one, you know, we have a lot of customers and a lot of supporters via social media that, that help us. They either give us the monetary donation or just the, 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 the actual support or drive via communication to just, just keep going and, and keep keep at it. So that's the most important thing is uh, customer service, customer relations, that that helps drive the bus. That makes us want to do more. The thing that tells us how to do more or what we can do to change things up is, you know, if you'll see, I've got this ledger book right here and um, that it's just, it's just card sales. But the main thing is the accounting. So number one is uh, customer service customer support number two is accounting and accounting is a big deal you might think oh gk you know uh, all we want to do is just sell some sports cards we don't want to worry about credits and debits and we don't want to go back to high school or college accounting class man i get it and i'm not talking about that kind of what i'm talking about is d simply documenting what you sell how much it sells for and documenting how much you how much you have invested in each product. And then that allows us to make better decisions and better mitigate our risk. So we're taking calculated risk with, with you know, cards like these that, um, that, you know, hey, if they stay in our collection, that's fine. If we find a buyer that wants to buy them, we don't see, have a problem with, with, with sharing those as well. So how did we get to our numbers? You know, we talked about, hey, we've, we've done a year in business. And if we look at, um, if we go to our eBay sellers hub, down at, the, you scroll down and down at the left, the left side of the uh, webpage will be seller data. It'll tell you, you know, what, what kind of seller you are, your percent of returns, percent of shipments, but all the way down to the bottom, it'll tell you sales for the year, right? And this year our sales were, Eleven thousand dollar, eleven thousand and fifty two dollars, eleven thousand and fifty two dollars just hustling, you know, PWE shipments like that. So, you know, I mean, that's that's pretty good, you'd think. But if you're disciplined in the accounting and the record keeping, what we come to realize is, although eBay says we had sold eleven thousand dollars, our then that's our gross sales. Our net was probably closer to fifty three hundred estimated. You know, it's it's time for me to do my books again this month. You know, so um, you know we're a lot of that is is shipping costs, the cost of supplies, the cost of of, of cards and materials. You know, like these uh, team bags, top loaders, all that stuff makes a difference. We wouldn't know where we're at unless. We documented it. So one of the things that you got to understand when you're looking at the eBay uh, total sales, it's a gross amount. You know, that's the total amount of sales. They're not letting you know the shipping that you have. They're not letting you know, you know, what you paid in eBay fees, PayPal fees, any other fees associated. They're definitely not uh, savvy to the cost per card that you might have paid. So it's on us to be able to keep track of that. And what you gotta be careful of is not get not get starstruck by that number. Like it would be easy to say, oh hey man, I sold eleven thousand dollars worth of cards over the last year. I'm doing great. You know, well, understand this. eBay wants to show you your gross sales so you'll list more. And if you list more, they can charge you more in fees. So there it's kind of by design, and you have to be kind of 
You have to be savvy that that's by design. They're, they're showing you something to where they want to want us to list more on their, on their platform. Right? So you got to keep that in mind. The, but the thing of it is with the accounting is it, it, like I said before, we have good documentation of what, what we sold. So we know, we know, Hey, if we paid 499 for this Russell Wilson, right. And we're, and, and then we're documenting, Hey, we paid 499. We see what it sells for typically when we, when we browse listings or see offerings on Instagram, Twitter, whatever the case may be, we can take that information and combine it. And then we know a fair price that this card will move at, right? So although we bought it at 599, it might be a fair price at seven. You find the right person at the right time, you might, you might have a $2 increase. And then on a $7 purchase, a $2 increase is a pretty decent margin. It's a little over 20, it's about 24 to 26%, you know, and that's a pretty good rate of return. How do we know that? By de being disciplined and diligent in our accounting. So we just kind of wanted to share that information with you because I kind of I kind of think that that process and that system and, and being disciplined with doing the accounting, it allows us to pay our taxes on time. It allows us to, um, you know, know how, how much money we've spent and it allows us to know how much money we've got. At the end of the day, it's the thing that really keeps everything together, right? So it'd be easy to say, hey man, I sold this, I bought it for five, I sold it for 10, uh, you know, and then just going down the road and then pretty soon we, we don't know where we're at and we don't know what we're doing and we don't know why. So that's it, you know, just, I wanna stress the importance of, of, of documentation and accounting and the discipline to, to do so. Um, it, it helped us get to where we're at. You know, we're not totally where we wanna be, but we couldn't do this without taking the time to do this. So we just wanted to, you know, let you know that. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for your time to watch. We hope you stuck it out this far and we're glad that you did if you have. If you have, man, drop a comment, leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff. Find us on social media and we'll be back real soon.